We've been working with the Centre for Advanced Spatial Analysis to understand what combinations of data are most valuable to city planners, to citizens, to people running parks and open spaces. Bailo was started in 2014 in a collaboration with the Future Cities Catapult and CASA. We were trying to develop a visualization platform for city leaders, businesses, and innovators. So the, the Bailo platform is uh, created using game engine system. The aim was to understand to what extent the game engine technologies could be used for visualizing information in real time about a specific urban environment. In this case, the Queen Elizabeth Park. With the different sensors we have on a park, um, alongside this 3D model interface that we have now through UCL, um, we can take the data from the different environmental factors on the park and we can also use qualitative data from our park visitors uh, to get an idea of their, their mood, their opinions, how they're feeling in relation to different things that are going on in the park. For example, we have integrated weather. We also have included the transportation information moving in real time. So you have an idea and a perspective of the whole sense of the area. The 3D model with all the data sets that could come into it around crowd flows, on where people are going to move around the place, how they're going to use the space, along with things like public transport links, all of that data is going to be able to help us design and create a cultural and educational district for us a lot better than perhaps we could have without the technology. The other thing that's really important for us as well is that we don't just isolate our model here in our part of East London. Um, looking forward, we want this model to be part of a London-wide model. The idea behind this is that one day, potentially very soon, you'll have city information models that are not only rich visual images of the city, but they've got lots of data in them that helps you to see into the future and forecast the likely impact of new developments, of new transport networks, and of changes in society, and how that impacts on what the city looks like and how it functions. 